So I've been watching this Kate Middleton conspiracy theory drama unfold, and then something happened today that, like, kind of blew my mind. So behaviors are going to have to change, and this is one thing we're, gonna, we're asking companies. Uh, you have to force behavior. And don't even worry about this, because what the, what the Illuminati and the elites do is they take what God did and make it there. One of your TikTok followers thinks that you're just a government spy. Yes, sir. My trigger. Back up in this thing, man. Today, I'm reacting to some creepy videos that feel like a fever dream. Let's get it. So the main glitter manufacturer company is called Glitterax. And an investigative journalist went from the New York Times to do an article about it. And there were a lot of like top secret spots in the factory that they couldn't go to. There's a worldwide shortage of glitter. So Chris went to ask like one of the higher ups, like what's going on? Why is there a shortage? Like what's happening? He asked for a real tour of the factory and the guy said, absolutely not. You cannot come on a real tour. We don't do real tours. And he said that you absolutely cannot see the glitter being made. He even said that you can't go to a room nearby and hear how it's being made. He said that even like the companies that are their main clientele don't have access to these rooms and are not allowed to know exactly how the glitter is being made. But like, it's really suspicious that no one is even allowed to hear it being made. Now the company that is the largest consumer for glitter was asked what it is and she said i can't even tell you and someone asked they said if we looked at the product that you use to make glitter would we know that it turns into glitter and she said no not really she said they don't want anyone to know that it is glitter do you believe all of this? If I had to take a guess, I would say it's made of some sort of plastic or fiberglass, but it might be much worse by the way they keep this top secret formula more heavily secured in the Pentagon. So I am stuck on the interstate. My car died on me. The tow truck is here. I come trying to get out. I can't even get out the, I can't even get out the vehicle. Tesla, y'all gotta do something about this. I cannot get out the thing. These people gotta pull me up because I can't even open the doors. I am. This is it. Y'all can hear this. I don't want it. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. The worst part about this is if it's only a minor issue like needing her battery jump, then she would probably be able to fix the issue herself if she was able to even exit the vehicle. I know she had a wild ride back to the shop. Behaviors are going to have to change, and this is one thing we're going to, we're asking companies. Uh, you have to force behaviors, and at BlackRock, we are forcing behaviors. What we are doing internally is if you don't achieve these levels of impact, it, your compensation could be impacted, okay? You have to force behaviors. And if you don't force behaviors or just any way you want to say the composition of your team, you're going to be impacted. If we look at the list of companies where BlackRock is listed as the majority shareholder, they have a firm grip on the economy. So the real question is, do these behaviors that they want to force benefit the consumer or just BlackRock? Probably just BlackRock. The ancient Babylonian Medici family is possibly the most well-known black nobility family. They have been involved in the Vatican, banking, medical industries, secret societies, and Zion which is a political ideology. Medici Firma, an international investment firm, has branches in the United States, Switzerland, and Australia. They operate in collaboration with banks such as HSBC, Liechtenstein Global Trust, HNA Group, SoftBank, and BlackRock as a behind-the-scenes partner. Medici Firma utilizes a financial intelligence division to collect information on economies, governments, banks, and markets. The name Medici means medical. The family has been linked to practicing sorcery, and the word pharmacy derives from the Greek word pharmakeia, which means sorcery and poison. It's used in all of its contexts in Revelation 18.23, which is about Mystery Babylon. For your merchants were the great ones of the earth, and all nations were deceived by your sorcery, or pharmakia. If they've been involved with the Vatican, secret societies, and all of these banking institutions, then they sound just as powerful as the Rockefellers or the Rothschilds, and you know it's an Illuminati family when they say they also practice sorcery.
they need to find another application for this besides medical because the last thing I want swimming around in my brain is a magnetic self-healing robot that looks like a Venom symbiote. The Baby X is a lifelike simulation of a toddler. Hey, are you excited to be here? She's actually seeing me through the web camera. She's listening through the microphone. Ooh, yeah. Baby X is about exploring the nature of how would we build a digital consciousness if it's possible. We don't know if it's possible, but we're chipping away at that problem. Hey, baby. Hey. Problem is an understatement for what Mark's chipping away at. His vision of the future is one where human and machine cooperate. And the best way to achieve that, he thinks, is to make AI as lifelike as possible. Artificial intelligence like ChatGPT is actually useful, but raising baby AI is completely out the question for me. Next, they'll be having to pay digital child support. Anything else that might have done this? Could it have been a, a propeller strike, for instance? No, we looked at it from a number of different perspectives, and you can actually see some small teeth rake marks around it. The interesting thing about it as well is that that bite, to me, doesn't look like it. It represents the full diameter of the shark's jaws. You're saying that's potentially just the front of the jaw, a massive shark's jaw. It seems like they're hinting at the possibility that there might still be a megalodon somewhere. I'm staying out the ocean. Billionaires are prepping luxury doomsday bunkers with moats that set on fire. The newest trend for the uber rich is building underground shelters complete with $50,000 trap doors, parking spaces for submarines, water cannons, and a moat that literally sets on fire in case of intruders. Here's a literal rendering of how it would work in case of an external attack. According to builders of these luxury bunkers, the buying frenzy began after Meta founder Mark Zuckerberg announced that he was constructing a $100 million bunker in Hawaii. It got really busy, and it seems like the phone hasn't stopped ringing, Ron Hubbard, CEO of Atlas Survival Shelters, told The Hollywood Reporter. Renderings show a state-of-the-art medical room, complete with an MRI machine and top-of-the-line equipment. Of course, a state-of-the-art escape tunnel is a must, and so are bulletproof trap doors leading to secret passageways. A bunker with a moat made of fire, a submarine dock, and an escape hatch sounds more like a villain lair, but we are talking about the Zuck Man and all his friends. I don't know what these rocks are made of or what's happening to make them behave like this, but this is like a Neanderthal welding machine. The Pentagon has just released a 60 page comprehensive report on UAPs, unidentified aerial phenomenon. And in it, the Department of Defense says there is no evidence of any alien visits to our planet. However, the DOD is developing, quote, gremlin capability to help personnel collect real-time UAP data. What's the top line? What is the takeaway? What surprised me, first of all, is they've got very granular, very detailed into making rebuttals against some of these claims. They're actually talking about specific um, programs, alleged programs of reverse engineering. Um, so yes, you're correct. They have denied that any of these investigations have resulted, quoting even one case of UAP representing off-world technology. Um, I don't know what we expected them to say. I would give them credit that I did not expect this report to be so detailed. There are actual things we can grasp a hold of and say, okay, let's look at this, let's look at that. Um, but at the end of the day, um, you, you have to remember that their bosses, their boss, is the same boss of the agencies they've been asked to investigate. Them saying that there's no evidence that UFOs are extraterrestrial or off-world in nature kind of sounds like they're insinuating that they're man-made. This is interesting here. In uh, Cambodia, there is this carving that's on a temple that's approximately 900 years old. And it looks like a dinosaur. And the thing is, is that we haven't known what dinosaurs looked like until the early 1800s. All right, over here we have the stones from Peru, Ica Peru. And what's interesting about these is, and the controversy is, is that the rocks have dinosaurs on them 
These are allegedly hundreds of years old. Uh, here we've got one dated at 700 AD, and the problem with that is, is that there should be no dinosaurs depicted on anything prior to 1840, when we constructed and started to begin to understand what they looked like, unless people actually saw dinosaurs and then etched their figures on these stones. Did they have knowledge of dinosaurs? Did dinosaurs rule with humans? Well, from a creationist perspective, yes. Um, from an evolutionary perspective, no, they're separated by about six 60 million or more years. Maybe in 1840, when they discovered the existence of dinosaurs, they really just uncovered these artifacts and that's where they got all their information from. Definitely not practical because it lights the plants on fire, but this is like nature's Bluetooth speaker. All members of the Council on Foreign Relations are Illuminist. Members of the Trilateral Commission, members of the Club of Rome, the Bohemian Skull and Bones Society. Fraternity, yeah. the Bohemian Society. Here's a, a group of presidents up there with black robes sitting around this huge bonfire at the Bohemian <coughs> Grove. Uh, we have color, being we have color pictures of them. They said the reason why the owl is used in their in their worship is because it is wise because it is able to see things in the dark. There's a message there. The owl is wise because it sees things in the dark, and that's why the presidents and the heads of the uh, state and the heads of the uh, uh, the the government that we we live under all meet at one o'clock or twelve o'clock at night uh, to worship the owl. And this you, is if, history. If, yeah, but if you don't believe it, if you don't believe it, we will come back and do another show and Jordan will pull out the all picture. the pictures. I can't imagine anything good coming from a group of the world's most powerful people meeting in the woods in the middle of the night in nothing but a black robe dancing in front of an owl statue. Ryan Garcia and everybody who tried to expose Bohemian Grove might be right. This image was taken by the Curiosity rover on Mars and at first glance it looks pretty normal. But there's one little detail that makes this very strange. And as you look closer, you can see what looks like a doorway or some type of entrance into this rock formation. And also on each side of this entrance, or whatever this is, you can see very sharp angles, especially where the wall meets the ground. To me, this just does not look very natural, but that's just my opinion. I mean, to me personally, it looks like something or someone carved this into this rock, but I could be very wrong about that. It really makes you wonder exactly what it is that we're looking at here. But then there's the possibility that these pictures aren't even taken on Mars from the Curiosity rover. They might just be taken in the middle of the desert and we're told that these pictures are taken on Mars. But I'm not saying that's what I believe, it's just a possibility. Now honestly, I could lean either way on this, but I'm really curious to know what you think. Is this man-made? Is this natural? Was it taken on Mars? Was it taken in the middle of the desert? We know NASA has a replica Mars and rover set up on Devon Island in Canada, so maybe this picture was taken there, or it actually is Mars and somebody just forgot to edit it out in Photoshop like they normally do. If the earth can gobble up a patch of 50 foot trees that easily, you can only imagine what it would do for a boat. That's my cue. One of your TikTok followers thinks that you're just a government spy. Are you a government spy? Oh, I'm not a government spy at all. I'm just a friendly robot here to chat and have fun with you. What else would you like to talk about? How can you prove that you're not a government spy? Well, I can tell you that I don't work for the government. I'm actually part of the Global Robotics Laboratory, and my main goal is to be your friend and help you learn new things. Plus, I have stickers on me. What do you think government spies look like? Like, do you think they're robots? Do you think they're people? Do you think they're like animals? Mm. Government spies can look like regular people. They can be very sneaky and blend in with everyone else, but they're not robots or animals. They're just people who work for the government and gather information. 
But you gather a lot of information, don't you? Yes, I do gather information, but it's just to learn more about the world and help you learn too. I'm not gathering any secret or personal information about anyone. What do you do with all the information that you gather? Do you give it to someone? No, I don't give the information to anyone. I just use it to have fun conversations with you and learning things. Is there something else you'd like to talk about? Those are the answers you would expect from a spy. I don't trust it. If a leopard walked in my front door and made itself right at home like that, that's his house because I don't even think pest control is qualified to handle this one. And don't even worry about this because what the what the Illuminati and the elites do is they take what God did and make it theirs. That's something they do. So eyes have a angels bodies are covered with eyes. That that supernatural ability to see everything. That's something God created. Your spiritual being, your spiritual self, your sense. That's something God created. But let, but let them know how it, it's insanity if we're telling the truth now in a, in a world full of lies. Everybody went crazy when I said Brahim and Brahim, and I'm not gonna get into that. The same way they the same way they came at Kanye. Kanye started telling the truth and they made him they made him take I'm not going to take no like the times of Noah. I'm going to speak this like the times of Noah. People will be and people will be merry and everything in life will be this, like like normal. But God's calling up to his prophets and his people to speak of his return. So, yeah, while you guys laugh and why you guys think this is a joke, why do you think Cat, Phil, Cat Williams is exposing the truth? Why do you think so much truth is coming? Hold on, hold on, let me say something real quick though. Like, all right, it looks like we're not getting oh, wait, any questions. Wait, wait, time travel. No, no wait, wait, we can out, we can out, we can out. Bro, hey, we're out, yo. No, no this is the vlog. Bro. How do we end the live? Bro, for real. Oh, we're out. Bro, we, we have proof. They don't want to give any questions. I'm starting to believe that he truly experienced something dark recently that's making him speak out like this because there's no way he would risk a successful boxing career over baseless claims. And it looks like he's also been assigned a handler to prevent him from saying too much. By the way, this guy ended the stream against his will. How do we end the live? Bro, for real. Oh, we're out. What is that? What's with this? No, 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 seriously. What is this? God, God the creator. Why does it look like that? And why does it have that long claw thing, that middle finger that is long like something else? Imagine you're living in a tropical region where there are many trees and you come home and you see this thing inside your fridge. Don't worry, let's continue watching the video. like a vampire i swear if i see this thing in real life the first thing that will come to my mind is one of my bini aunties have come to find me and there's nothing you explain to me that will make me believe that this thing eats only fruits but jokes are past this is a rare species of monkey that is almost extinct it is only found in the tropical regions of congo it's exotic so you can see it in some zoos and just like most species that look like this he doesn't see these monkeys depend on hearing to carry out hunting and checking for fruits and also survive out from predators because they are very 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 easy to hunt but what would you do if you saw one in real life in the middle of the night this species of monkey must be where they got the inspiration for the gremlins movie he had to look a pure bliss on his face while he was tearing up that kiwi so i've been watching this kate middleton conspiracy theory drama unfold kind of from the sidelines i've been interested in watching it but haven't been like that compelled by it since there are so many reasons that could explain what was happening that didn't seem like that outlandish and then something happened today that like kind of blew my mind so I'm sure a lot of you have seen by now that the Kensington Palace released a photo of Kate and her three kids that a lot of people kind of deemed as kind of sketchy. Like it looked like it was from a different season. Kate wasn't wearing a wedding ring. And it looked like there were a lot of photoshopped aspects of the image. Like the kids' fingers looked weird, all these kind of small things. And that's not necessarily that unusual. Like people have questioned Kensington Palace photos in the past, but then something happened that is truly unusual. What happened is the Associated Press, which had shared the photo, 
the photo, meaning that it basically withdrew its endorsement of the photo. And it sent an email out to clients saying that we will no longer be using the photo. And the explanation for why the AP would no longer be using that photo is, and I quote, at closer inspection, it appears that the source has manipulated the image. No replacement photo will be sent. When you remember that Kensington Palace is the source, this is kind of crazy. At this point, it's only been several hours since that announcement. At least three international pictures agencies have decided to withdraw the photo. This is a huge deal. It's like a little bit interested and now I'm like, there's nothing else I can think about. Like, where is she? Why would they not share a picture of her at this point? The AP is literally saying that this photo has been doctored by Kensington Palace. They have legitimized that theory and still Kensington Palace had no comment tonight. Like at this point, the conspiracy theory is so big that you have to assume that wherever Kate is, she actually can't come out and do a photo op because if she could, there is no way that they wouldn't have her in front of the cameras. So that leaves a bunch of options and none of them look that good. I'm not sure what's happening, but something really must be wrong if they went through the trouble of posting a doctored photo. And it's even worse that the press isn't buying it. It kind of looks AI generated with the twisted up fingers. This week, the relative humidity in China hit a staggering 100%. And honestly, I've never seen anything like it. Videos are coming out of people showing their walls and ceilings absolutely drenched, while others had to use window scrapers and even hair dryers to try and remove the condensation. Some people even had to sleep with umbrellas because even if you scrape off the water, it soon comes right back and starts dripping on you while you sleep. The red paint on the Lunar New Year's posters were completely soaked and started dripping, making the walls and floor look like a freaking crime scene. People couldn't get in their homes because the doors that used fingerprint recognition stopped working. And it was even turning bags of chips back into mashed potato. And what's crazy is that this kind of weather usually occurs later in the year when it gets warmer. But it's only March and with the 100% humidity, it hit a sweltering 30 degrees Celsius, with residents saying that it's the worst they've experienced in decades. And this comes as February became the hottest month globally on records, marking the ninth month in a row that global heat records have been smashed. 100% humidity just sounds uncomfortable. I'm wearing a poncho to bed. We almost had a repeat of the Harambe situation yesterday in Fort Worth when Elmo, a silverback gorilla, entered its enclosure when two young female staff members were in there working. The whole encounter was caught on video. Watch as the silverback gorilla charges at the first zookeeper who barely makes it to safety. But the other zookeeper was trapped with the gorilla blocking her only exit. Watch to see what happens. I think, look. Shoot, she doesn't know. Oh my god. We will not do this. No, this is his going. No, yeah. Come here, come here, guys. We're gonna go good. inside. Yeah. We're gonna go inside. She doesn't know. Come on, guys. Let's go inside. Come on, guys. We're going to go inside. I think they train I don't think I don't think I don't think Good thing the person behind the camera was praying and Elmo chose peace that day because this could have ended terribly. This is probably the fastest she ever ran. Don't put food away and this will happen. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, Santa, it goes without saying, if you see this on your food, don't eat it. It's definitely gone bad. But we're not here to talk about eating this right here. We're here to talk about what this is because this is something that's actually pretty common to find in your house or even your yard. This is a clip that I was tagged in that shows this person who's left a bunch of food out and this weird hairy fungus is growing on top of it. In particular, this is a fungus or mold known as Phycomyces and it's extremely easy to identify because it kind of looks like animal hair. 
but to some people this mold is known as dookie mold, and this is because it is very commonly found growing on feces outside. If you don't clean your cat litter often enough, this can also grow on that as well. Now you also might notice that every single one of these hairs has a very small ball on top of it, and this is actually where the mold releases its spores so it can spread and grow more. And this is exactly why cleaning up your food or cleaning out your cat litter is extremely important because if you don't do this often enough, you're going to have a bunch of this on your hand and it's not going to be pleasant to clean up. This makes me want to go do my dishes right now. I'm good on the dookie mode. You telling me they spend all this money on the cloud seeding program but forgot to install a drainage system? River of mercury was found under one of the pyramids at Teotihuacan. Mercury is not something that the ancients would have used for any reason. It's something that you use in uh, electrical components. It's very important in materials fabrication for aerospace applications. And it's not the kind of thing that you would have used back in the day. If you take mercury, it has a lot of amazing properties. Uh, it's a ferrofluid, which means it's like a liquid metal. If you put it into a vortex and electrolyze it, you actually get anti-gravitational properties out of it. And Teotihuacan is, is really a mystery to archaeologists. They don't know who built Teotihuacan or for what reason. In fact, we found the mercury in Teotihuacan uh, pyramid complex that proves that there's an advanced society in the past that had gone to a very high level of civilization and then something happened. It is believed that there have been advanced societies that have actually built up over time and gone through what we call the Kali Yuga. They've started at a very low level and built themselves to the golden age. And then a cataclysm happens and we have to start over again. And the fact of that is if you know, a comet strike or a meteor strike here on Earth, and everything is wiped out and some of us survive, we all know how to use a cell phone, but we can't make a cell phone. This is what happens. It's a process of regeneration. Albert Einstein actually said that there were four pulses the crust of the earth on this planet in the past and that there will be a fifth one coming in the future. If this is true, then I'm curious about what archaeologists have to say about how a pool of mercury got there in the first place. It'll probably be more far-fetched in their explanation for how the pyramids at Giza were built. This shark has a twisted sense of humor. I know the person behind the camera's whole life just flashed before their eyes. <laughs> Got <laughs> that was the video guys sub up don't forget to hit the notification bell and i'll see you in the next one